This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Armada. It is a 2012 Nissan Armada. It's a 5.6 liter V8. It's two wheel drive. It's the Platinum Edition, which is the highest trim level. Um, it has a third seat, power third seat. Um, has low miles, 90,837 actual miles. It was a, a repo from flagship credit acceptance. Um, it bought it in San Diego, brought it to Tucson, did our inspection. This is what it looks like. Um, beautiful, my guys right, beautiful SUV, runs, drives, and looks great. There was a rub scuff, I saw it myself with my own eyes, on the corner edge of the driver front bumper. It was right here, it's like it rubbed up against the pole. Did zero damage to the bumper cover itself, but it had a scuff on it. We tried to touch it up with just touch up paint and it looked crappy. It's too nice a car, so we just had this little piece shot by a professional painter. Looks great, that was a good decision. Um, and a detail, that's all it needed. Um, I'm gonna walk around this thing, I will show you <clears throat> what I see, I'll point it. Stuff that I see that you may wanna look at closer in the photo gallery as far as cosmetics are concerned. Uh, we'll go into the hood with the uh, Armada running. These are the tires that came on and they're really high rubber. I would say 80% tread easily. Um, well, we'll walk around, I'll point at stuff that you might want to look at. All I really see cosmetically on it is just some really minor high-speed rock chips. Um, other than that, I think there's a couple touch-ups on the rear bumper. Looks like they touched something that was very sharp or something and then they touched it up but other than that this side looks beautiful um <laughs> once i we go into the we'll go into the hood we will uh with it running we will um show you the carfax we'll show you the <laughs> kelly blue book um everything that we have on this vehicle you will have in this video and in our ad no secrets here at all um, a, they're stupid. We're an internet business. We have to have all the information has to be out there so that uh, you can make good decisions and the right person ends up in this vehicle. Um, secrets are no bueno. All right. Just a little touch up right there and right here. And the, the main one I saw looks like there's a like a straight up and down here, straight up and down here. So it looks like they backed into somebody's license plate. <laughs> this is what it looks like. That's like the perfect size. Line, line. Boom. They backed up into somebody's license plate. And based on the size of this truck, I would say that they probably won the argument. There's a little rub right there. I don't feel anything there, but there's a little rub there. Um, anyway, I will show you the Kelly Blue Book, the Carfax, then we'll go on a ride. Um, I just got done driving this after detail. It's a beautiful car. Really beautiful. All right, let me start this guy up. 90,845 miles are on the vehicle right now. And the warning light, the triangle light's on because the door's open, all right? Let's see. Oh, I forget on these cars where, oh, there it is. Duh. All right, before we go under the hood, let me show you the uh, Kelly Blue Book. This is the Kelly Blue Book for a uh, Armada Platinum. 90,837 miles. Typical listing price of this would be 16,940. So basically 17,000 with a fair market range of 15,4 to 17,6. That number seems low. That so it seems low. That number is ridiculous. And this is a lot of car. A lot a lot of car. Uh, but I just report the news. I don't make it up, so it is what it is. So I just tell you what it is. Here's the VIN. This is the Carfax itself. Um Let's see, no accidents reported, no damage reported. 90,837 was the last report. Uh, no major title problems were reported. Ba -ba -ba. Now we'll go through the entire Carfax itself. Obviously very well taken care of. It's kind of painfully obvious. Uh, it was sold as a certified Nissan uh, 9, 8 of 13 with about almost 13,000 miles on it. Boom. Yeah, they took great care of this car. Look at this thing. Let's 
Somebody's gonna really like this car. Look at the services they're doing here. At the dealer there, still at the dealer. It's out of warranty and they're still going to Stadium Nissan. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And then this looks like this is when the repo victim bought the vehicle in 9-11 uh, <laughs> of 19, interesting date. And then we bought it uh, 5-18-20. Here's the title. This is the California title that was signed off to us um, and repo affidavit. Um, so his name was Brett. We tried to save his uh, reputation here by keeping the, uh, his last name out of it. Uh, it was a repo, 90,000 miles from flagship credit. Signed up to Wheel Kinetics. 5-20 of 20 was when they signed the title off. And this is the uh, California repo affidavit from flagship credit. They, they repoed it 318 of 20 for failure to pay. Um, and then they sold to Wheel Kinetics. Okay? So there you go. Now you've seen all the paperwork. As I said, uh, you are going to know everything we know. So that you can make the right decision and the car ends up in the right garage. All right. Kind of amazes me how quiet these motors are on these big things. Stickers where they belong. The air's blowing ice cold. I can't wait to get back in there. It's supposed to be 108 today. And then next week, it's supposed to be back in the 90s, which is kind of odd, but we'll take it. Any day in the 90s is good. Okay. Let's see. see forward, back. Slide forward, back. Let's see. You got your platinum seats, right? This is pretty. Really pretty. I like this car a lot. Alright. Window. So let me see. Oh wait, I do this one. I want the whole seat forward. There you go. This is your third seat, right? And, let's see. This is storage right here. Obviously, we've got Indiana Jones going on in the DVD player. I'll demo that in a second. You have heated rear seats, which is the platinum thing. I wouldn't recommend them in Tucson right about now, but they're available. <laughs> it's really, really warm today. All right. All right, and then you've got your, they'll fold electrically all the way forward, right? That's that side. And then that's that side, okay? And then to close the lift gate from back here, hit that, and that'll close, right? Let me go over here. Alright, let me hop in here. So you got a remote. See where it says uh, on the on the where it says rear controls? Those can lock this back here so they can't mess with them back here, which is a nice thing. Let's see. Let me see if I can. Oh you know what? Let's see if the volume works back here. There it is. There you go. part of the movie. That's the uh, part of the ride in uh, Disneyland, right? Right there. All right, so there's your DVD player. Um, you got your remote here. So I'm guessing I could go, boom, that, right? Then I can go to modes back here. That's auxiliary, you don't have anything plugged in there. There's radio back here, XM, FM. box and someone's got some stuff in there that's bizarre music there you go now there are no headphones you're gonna have to go buy some headphones didn't come with them but the ones that come with these things are usually crappy anyway you can buy a nice set at Best Buy and hook yourself up 
and be happier with the ones that they have at Best Buy than the ones that come with the uh, factory. And it is that time of year uh, when I do these videos. These buttons get freaking hot as hell and I'm already wishing I had gone faster to this door and gotten there because now my fingers don't like that so much. Out, in, up. But I do want to get in the AC because that feels really good. There's your rear lift gate from driver's controls, right? Now touch it again and close it. Okay. Seat forward, back. I'm going to Mission, Mission Bay next week, by the way. Up, back. And this would be a nice car to go to San Diego in. But I'm not going to because I don't want to put the miles on it. There's your adjustable pedals up, down. Obviously, you can turn off all the parking sensor stuff here. Uh, tilt wheel. There's your tilt wheel. Ugh. I'm not going to turn on the heated seat since it's already heated. <laughs> Man, it's freaking hot today. Um, Let's see. Get my seat adjusted here a little bit. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Map. Enter. All right, there we are. There we are on Gardner Lake, all right? I'm gonna get the AC right on me. It's freaking blazing. It's hot right now. All right, let's see. Open the roof here. I forget how you do this, there you go. Oh, these, I don't like how Nissan does this, by the way. I used to always think they were broken when they would do this. They're not. That's how they do it, you have to tap them. I, they go like three inches every time. I'm not really understanding that whole deal. I don't know, and there's the tilt. All right, now it's closed. I don't get it, there's your controls for the AC, lights. Boom. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Audio. How do we get the audio going here? Blah, 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 blah. You hit that, it'll lock the rear controls, by the way. So, I want to go here. There's the controls for the steering wheel right there. Volume down. Change stations. Blah, blah, blah. That's all working fine, of course. This is where the DVD goes, right here. Okay. I want to remember to take my DVD back. Boom. Obviously, you can plug in games there, too. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else? You've got an auxiliary plug here. You've got heated seats. Boom, boom. Heated steering wheel. Traction control off. Tow mode. There's your tow mode, right? Heated steering wheel some plugs blah 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 we all know how that all works what else uh, blah, 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 blah. cruise control on there's cruise right there on and off um, phone let's see what else we got boom 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 there's your rear windshield wiper I think that's about it now I'm hopefully hopefully I can get this fence to, gate to open here for me and maybe I can turn off the there come on gate God we moved the sensor in the ground because the trucks driving by were setting it off and now I'm having to there we go search around for it by driving around in my videos which kind of sucks apparently we did not handle that correctly Alrighty then. This thing's beautiful. Love this thing. Um, all right. Here's how this works. If you're going to come to Tucson and drive this thing home, you got a beautiful rig that needs absolutely nothing. Um, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Okay. Um, very simple. If you pay by wire, and ship it out of state, 
all you're going to pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no doc fee, nothing. Once we receive that wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, fill out the title uh, with your name or your company's address and we'll sign it off to you. We will scan that into your online file and we'll mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, so you'll be able to see everything. Uh, you will have the uh, Armada shipped to you. The title will already be in your mailbox. When the Armada shows up, you'll already have the title in your hand. You'll go to Motor Vehicles and get played. If you need uh, help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction. We'll be glad to help you. Uh, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the into the car uh, for your loan, or you can do it all yourself. I mean, it's up to you. We have people who bought multiple vehicles from us, and they've learned how to do their own shipping, and that's fine. Okay, uh, whatever you want to do. But if you need help, we're there for you. All right. Uh, this thing is sweet. I wish I was taking this to San Diego. I'm going to be in a convertible Mercedes, which sounds glamorous, but it sucks. I'd rather be in this. <laughs> I'd much rather be in this. Anyway, enough complaining. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu, what else? Uh, deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Um, once we have your deposit, it will no longer be for sale. Until we have your deposit, it is for sale, regardless of how many conversations we've had about the price, regardless of anything. If you don't have a deposit in, somebody else can buy it while you're waiting to do the deposit. Okay, so make sure you get it in. It's obviously the computer knows when they come in. Uh, get it in if you're serious about this vehicle. It's beautiful. Love this thing. Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. I encourage you to watch the last two or three minutes of any video you find of me uh, on the internet. They go back 13 or 14 years. I'll say the same thing every single time. We don't have salesmen. So you're not paying for them in the price of this vehicle. We don't have a glamorous location. You saw the razor wire and the night vision cameras. Uh, we have lots of cops in our neighborhood at night chasing the uh, zombie meth heads around. Um, yeah, and because of that, we uh, don't pay a lot of money for our location. In fact, our location is just property taxes. Our uncle owns it and, and we pay, uh, what is it, about $3,000 a year in property taxes. That's a, That saves you money because the auto mall is paying $20,000 per location for their uh, properties. 